I want to welcome you all to the land of Aloha. And it's a pretty amazing testament to who you guys are as people that 161 of your closest friends and family have flown a thousand plus miles and spent much El Casho to be here with you today. And of, but of course, let's call a spade a spade here. I don't know if it's that hard to force someone to come to Hawaii. <laughs> I imagine if this was in Siberia or something, that we would see who the real friends are. <laughs> There's a, there's a couple different dynamics going on at this wedding, right? We have a, we have the Hawaiian thing going on. We've got the military thing going on. Then, of course, uh, and, and the Jewish aspect of it. From me and Sarah, I'd just like to, to offer a, you know, a hearty welcome. And I know that a lot of people are traveling long distances. So, uh, you know, it's not lost on us. And I appreciate all the friends and family that are here that made the journey. But it's not lost on us. And thanks, everybody. Saw the heavens open up as it rained down on me. Can't remember what she said. I love you very much, and I can't believe today is finally here. It seems like yesterday we got engaged and even just met each other. And, oh, I just love you so much. We are in Waikiki on the island of Oahu. Hawaii, baby. Honolulu. August 2nd, 2014. Shaloha 2014. We're in Hawaii for Ryan Garrett's wedding. Yeah. Like Kalani? I don't know what hotel we're at. No one <laughs> is excited about this wedding as Marsha Mahoney. We need to get close to this movie star here. <laughs> here, pick on it, you know. <laughs> Which is Max. Oh, I'm so good. I almost sweated up. We are way ahead of schedule. Excellent. Excellent job. How do you feel about your breath at this moment? I don't know. Really good right now. What do you think of the hair, Dad? Very hairy. I miss Sarah. Oh, Sarah, oh, she looks beautiful. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> See the storm clouds up ahead. Say the words I miss you. I can't remember what you said. But I could feel your heartbeat. Hear the heavens open. To describe Sarah is to describe her friends. These are beautiful, strong, charismatic women that Sarah shares many traits with. And many of these girls are her family away from family, and I want to say thank you to them for taking care of her and being here for her when we were a thousand plus miles away. Jackie, you're gonna cry a bunch of the ceremony? I am. I already yeah. did. You already started crying? I just cried downstairs. Are you crying right now? Yeah. Did you? In my mind. Take out picture of her. What hit tears of joy though? Sarah, I'm proud of who you have become and the person that you are. You're brave. Out of college, you took a chance on this place. Yes, it's paradise. But you made a giant leap of faith going to a faraway place that you knew no one had no friends, and didn't have the security of your family being there. And you know what? Look at the life you've made it for yourself. She's very easygoing, and she makes me super comfortable around her and all of her friends. She's great.
Garrett. <laughs> now, in theory, this is the part where I tell you that if you hurt my sister, I'll break your neck. But seeing that you are built like a goddamn Sherman tank, <laughs> own a gun, and I'm here in a dress and a coconut bra, I think that that would be rather counterintuitive. <laughs> Commander Guzman came up to us and said that with your character, uh, you were a natural leader of men and that your uh, soldiers would probably follow you anywhere. We're, we're waiting on the delivery of sabers for the ceremony. Garrett, he's so generous, he's so kind. He really is the perfect person. You're literally the definition of an officer and a gentleman. Sarah wanted me to tell you. She said um, that she's excited, can't wait for today. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all serious. <laughs> so she's excited, so she awesome. wanted to give you that. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, thanks for uh, delivering the message. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Can you got one of those it? calculators in it? Can I have it? <laughs> it's a good looking watch. And she said it's not for seeing if you have time to back out. Yeah. Jewish mother or even just being a mother I showed her my support for the move by telling her you will never meet anybody there you will never get married you will be 40 years old and you'll think to yourself what did I do <laughs> but of course you never know where life will take you and here we are today sitting at the bar by the video poker machine in a white t-shirt and jeans and thinking, wow, what do we have here? We prayed that someone would come along who is as nice and caring and loving and we knew it'd be hard because he goes from place to place. And so we literally we prayed for that. And then we met Sarah and we realized that our prayers were answered because, I mean, she's perfect for him. On this day, the 2nd of August in the year 2014, in the community of Honolulu, Hawaii, we, Sarah Elizabeth Mahoney and Garrett Joseph Kay, enter into the covenant of marriage. You know, I realized Garrett loved my sister, and that my sister loved Garrett, because nine months spent apart while he was away in Afghanistan. They were rocking each other's lives when things got tough, and I know no matter where he goes, no matter where she goes, their love will remain constant. There's no understanding the emotional roller coaster of the last two years. To fall in love the way we did, to be as happy as we were, only to be separated for nine heart-wrenching months. When I deployed, this day seemed eternity away, but we made it. We're finally here, and we're actually getting there.
We, we would just like to thank everybody here, our, our, our friends, our family, the unbelievable speeches from our parents, from our, my best man and our beautiful maiden of honor, wherever he is. We, we are just so humbled. We just have so much appreciation for everybody who's, who's made the trek out here. Um, you know, it just means so much to us. Uh, you know, I, it's been an amazing day. It's been an amazing week. It's, it's been just so moving. And, and thanks to everybody who made this happen. Especially our parents, who uh, you know, you, you've you've done more than your share, and I get to say our parents now. No, th thanks for everything. My my father was in the in the Air Force in World War II, and he would have just been so he would have been beaming. I mean, he would have just been so proud to meet Garrett and know that he was marrying my daughter. So I just, for me, that was just you know just wonderful. And I hope, of course, that Sarah and Garrett will remember the words of the famous philosopher, David Mahoney, and that is, when things are not going quite so well, do not worry, because the good times are not over yet. That they, Sarah and Garrett, will also spend 40 years together and then be able to look forward to 40 more after that. I wish you both a healthy, happy, and joyous life together. mother country we like to cheers to life so uh, on the count of three I want us all to uh, cheer to life and uh, give it a good lahaya one two three what is true happiness really I think it's found in the moments and for me at this moment on this day I hope you have found true happiness with Garrett so take this moment to look around breathe this all in we are all here for you and this is what it's all about <laughs> I love you both. This is an amazing day and going to be an amazing night. In the words of Hunter S. Thompson, buy the ticket, take the fucking ride, and have the best life together. Cheers. Got an open bar for the next couple hours. So let's get ready to pop! why I married her. See the storm clouds up ahead. Say the words I'm in the sea. I can't remember what you said. But I could feel your heartbeat. Hear the heavens open up. And she lay beside me. I know my son, and I know he will be there for you in every way possible. 
without doubt. May you both live long and happy lives together. By marrying you, I now know that I am entering the adventure of what is known as the United States Army. <laughs> I want you to know that I promise I will show my love for you, whether we are oceans apart or in the same room. I will always be so grateful for the time we have together and always try to make you feel my love, even when you are far away from home. Because no matter where the Army may send us, it will be home because it will be with you. Thank you for always just being you, and I'll love you for the rest of my life.